Hi students, GATE 2024 notification has released. We are going to see the important points about this notification. Myself Sumit, faculty member of GATE Forum. On behalf of GATE Forum, I am going to present this presentation. Well, if you see this notification in a broad sense, students, if you compare this with GATE 23, there are few changes have been introduced, but the change is not so much. So what are the changes we are going to see? So let us first have an overview. So you know GATE 24 is organized by IISC Bangalore. GATE exam is conducted by IIT and IISC. This year it is returned for IISC Bangalore. Regarding dates, we will see I have a separate table for this. And some changes are there. So first change is this one that GATE exam is conducted for 30 test paper. It was 29 last year. But this year a new stream they have introduced that is DA which is data science and artificial intelligence. So 29 plus 1 30. So like you have electronics, electrical, mechanical like this. So this DA is introduced. So total we have 30 paper this year. So this is one change and the second change is the increase in the registration fee. The application fee what you pay while filling up the form slightly there is a change in that we will see the detail. And the website also changed. So the URL, if you see in the past gate, uh, uh, gate websites, and this year there is a change. So this is the gate 24 website, gate2024.iic.ac.e. So first, let us have a look on the important date trends. Okay. So this is a table. So we have the first column activity day, and this is the date. So online application process opens on 24th of August. So these dates are important. Maybe you can take a screenshot of it. So on 24th August, the process will open. Closing date of regular online registration is 29th September. That means without paying any uh, penalty. So up to 29th September. So you can do this. So more than one month of window we have. So it is better to complete all these things before September 20. To avoid the last minute rush and all. Usually it doesn't happen, but it's better to complete by September 20. Okay. Closing date of extended online registration application process with late fee. So with penalty. So the date is 13th October up to 13th October. So that means from 30 September to 30th October. So if you do, you have to pay a late fee. Okay. Modification in gate 24 application is from 7th to 11th November. So while filling up the form. If you have done anything mistake in the entry, so you have uh, options to change it from 7th to 11th November. Then availability of gate admit cards for download is 3rd January 2024. Okay, so you can download the admit card. So admit card will be released on 3rd January. Gate 24 exam will happen on the weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday. The date are 3rd, 4th, 10th and 11th. So this is happening from last so many years, the first weekends and the second weekend of February. So in these dates we have, okay. Then candidates response available in application portal is 16th February 2024. So like uh, after writing the gate exam, so uh, what are the options you have selected? What are the uh, entries you have done in the NAT type questions and all? So the response uh, seat, so that you can download or that you can access from 16th February. Then answer key available on application portal is 21st February 2024. So every year, so after releasing the response, so IIT is releasing the key so that you can, uh, you know, check. So how much mark you are securing or if you find any kind of discrepancy that uh, the IIT key is not correct, if you feel then you have option to challenge it, right? So we have the next thing is so after getting the key from IIT, so next thing is Submission of challenges by candidates on answer key is from 22nd to 25th of February. So in this date, you can challenge any key if you feel, right? Then the results will be announced on 16th March. And the scores card will be available to you on 23rd of March. So these dates are important. So most important at the present point of time is not to exceed this date. That is the most important things. Remaining things, it will automatically, it will keep on happening. In the flow, you will go, but this this date is very important. Before 29th September, uh, without any late fee, you have to fill the form. Yeah, so uh, we have seen in the overview that there are some changes in the application fee. So this is the detail. So from 24th August to 29th uh, of September, 
So for female candidates of reservation category SC, ST and PWD, you have to pay 900. And all other candidates including foreign national, you have to pay 1800. So this column is without late fee and this column is with late fee. So reservation female candidates SC, ST and PWD per paper, you have to pay 900. And all other candidates including foreign national per paper, you have to pay 1800. So this was 1500 earlier. So now it has 1800 okay so 300 rupees they have increased but it's nominal so and with late fee you can see that 500 difference so 900 plus 500 1400 18 plus 500 2300 so better to stick into this date and so and this uh, two paper combination also kind of very similar to the last year but of course since the branch da is introduced uh, you know data science so we can see this one otherwise it is same so what is the meaning of two paper combinations so a candidates can write gate exam in two papers let's say if you belongs to mechanical branch then you can select your mechanical me as your first choice then you can refer this list and then i can see in me these are the branch that a mechanical candidate can take this the second paper so code of the first paper and code of the second paper so for example here a computer science students okay if, if he or she select cs as the first paper Second paper can be data science, electronics, uh, maths, physics, statistics. So like this, this team you can select. So depending on your what branch you belongs to, you may refer this table. Okay. So we have seen in past, uh, some of our students, uh, they have uh, secured a good rank in both electronics, electrical or instrumentation, electrical. This kind of combination we have seen in past. So, because, uh, you know, like some branch are there where many subjects are common. Let's say electronics, electrical instrumentation, there are five to six subjects are common. And if you belong to civil mechanical, you, are, you have also some certain subjects are common. So, uh, if you want to write get in two papers, you can do that. So, this, uh, this is what the table uh, you can refer to. So, it is not like a instrumentation students, let's say, if he or she cannot write exam in remaining 29 branch, okay. So, for instrumentation, let's say, these are the choice, biomedical, electronics, electrical and mechanical. A, if a instrumentation student is selecting instrument first paper, then he or she has to select the second paper from uh, these four combinations, any one of these four combinations, okay. So, like that, depending on which branch belongs to, you can do that. And uh, so these are the year students where uh, IISC have conducted the gate exam. Like if you see the history, 1984, 1990, 1996, 2002, 2008, 2016, and 2024 now. Then next again in 2032, next in 2040. In each, each eight year of cycle, IISC, every year if you see, in eight year gap it is happening. So if you see the gap is uh, like here uh, eight years, so again, uh, in 2032 again it will be conducted by ISC. <coughs> okay so why this data is given <coughs> okay some people believe that there is a pattern actually so let's say uh, you know like for gate 24 you are preparing then you see what kind of question they have asked in gate 2016 although it is it, it doesn't have a very clear logic okay because you cannot expect like whatever the question they have asked in gate 2016 similar kind of questions will be framed in gate 2024 it may happen it may not happen okay but anyway if you want to have experience like the standard of uh, gate with respect to iic what kind of question they set so just for experience you can refer these papers but don't expect that in gate 24 uh, you know uh, the questions will be of these patterns and there is also one more uh, myth i can say students iic is the most prestigious institutes at least for mtech programs we all of you know this and it is considered that the question paper framed by IIC is very, very tough. It will be very tough standards and all. So these are the myths actually. If you see gate 2016 papers, so you know, like you can easily uh, figure it out how much truth is there in this. Since the paper started by uh, IIC is very tough. It's not that way. Okay. So I'm not going to that detail how question papers are set. What is the process these that. But don't believe on these kind of myths. Okay. Although any competitive exams is a relative exams okay a relative exam because uh, it doesn't matter actually how much you secure it matters how much you secure better compared to the rest of the crowds if paper will be very tough then automatically everything will be scaled up right so 
top of marks in ag paper if it is going up to 95 97 in a tough paper it will be restricted in 75 to 80 range or even less than that sometimes okay so don't believe all these myths so your goal is to prepare well you do that okay that is what in your hand rest of the things are not in your hand and if something happen unexpectedly then it is going to happen with all students not with you okay and <clears throat> this is a uh, uh the table is representing the gate 23 cut off and the highest marks so you can see these are the some popular branch uh, we have given for electronics the highest mark is 90 electrical it is 66 see this are uh, that's what i was saying if you see gate 23 electrical paper was tough and lengthy as well so if it is lengthy you see the highest mark is 66 only but if you see i think gate 2019 it was uh you know somewhere around 94 something like that more than 90 definitely the paper is easy so that's what i'm saying it is a relative exam if paper will be very tough then topper mark will also be very less okay so you don't have to worry about it okay so electronics topper mark is 90 electrical 66 instrumentation 78.33 computer science 93.67 mechanical 90.67 Civil eighty three point eleven, uh, biotechnology seventy nine point six seven, chemical is ninety two point six seven, and these are the cut up marks. Cut up marks you should not look because you are not preparing this exam for to secure the cut up marks. You should definitely speak. So if you see the highest cut up mark, I can see is this thirty four, which is instrumentation. Anyone who is preparing for gate exam, you should definitely target to get sixty. Sixty plus should be your minimum one. I mean, in this mark, sixty plus. Even if you secure sixty. so whether you will be getting some good iit nit or psu is also a challenging thing but worst case who are preparing are uh, by taking coaching or you are preparing very seriously by self preparation or for whatever the resource 60 you know worst case even if you don't get select in uh, say in iit nit or any psu but worst case 60 mark you should secure that's that is what you, that is why you are preparing and just by you know reaching this uh, you know cut off mark doesn't make any sense at least to me okay and what to expect in gate 24 from iic <coughs> okay so first thing is uh, one of the important thought might be coming to many of you regarding the syllabus okay so if you see the website okay syllabus uh, page so all the syllabus they have given but so far the data science the new stream so its syllabus is not yet specified the link is not opening actually for this branch remaining branch i have checked like for electronics electrical and some other branches the syllabus is exactly same as the syllabus of gate 23 so that's the big relief because those students who are preparing for gate exam by taking coaching or uh, you know by some other sources so might be you have started preparation from march or april so uh, you know like whenever syllabus change happens so there is always a question mark like whatever the things i have prepared whether it is useful for or not or what are the new things i have to study from where to study so these are uh, a bit challenging things but luckily this year there is no change in the syllabus so we can continue our preparation the way we were doing right so syllabus is exactly same and this branch syllabus is not uh, yet announced but what we can expect is so this is this branch will be kind of similar to the computer science we can expect at least 70% of the syllabus of cs and this branch will match of course there will be some changes otherwise why they are making it a different stream but majority of uh, syllabus will be similar to the cs of this particular stream you can expect and what to expect from iic is uh, you know as usual paper are of uh, you know moderate standards it happens errors we get very less from iics uh some years i think uh, from iit delhi i believe in gate uh, 19 i think Uh, you know in the electrical paper i remember there are five to six mistakes from iits while framing the question papers but in uh, 2016 i remember you know you know like in electronics and also there was no questions where you find some issues and all so you can expect paper will be of good standards okay and everything will happen in a very disciplined way it happens with almost all iits so nothing much special regarding this okay <clears throat> and uh, Uh, what what i can say is a small tip students okay whoever are preparing for a gate exam okay these are tips is complete syllabus okay how to get good rank in gate exam so certain certain two three things i would like to tell complete syllabus syllabus by december 
So beyond that, again, so many things will be challenging. So by December, your target should be to complete the syllabus. Solve at least last 15 years of previous year questions. Previous year question of gate exam, of course. So last 15 years of gate exam question paper, you should definitely solve. It's better if you can solve the last 30 year of papers, but at least 15 years of papers, you must solve. Third point is write test series. Write test series for your practice and to get acquainted with the exam environments, to acquainted with the software of, uh, you know, test portal. So write test series and continuous revision. Continuous revision. So this is what is the strategy. Anyone who is preparing for GATE, if you are able to maintain this consistency till the end of the exams, so most likely you are going to get a rank below 500, okay, which is having some value. You can get IIT and ITs and you can even go to the PSUs, okay. And students regarding GATE forum, you might be knowing like we are a very old brand in the GATE markets. Uh, in offline and online both, but mo mostly we are focused on the online thing now. So if you need any kind of uh, support for your gate preparation, might be you 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 may enroll our course or you need any uh, kind of assistance. Okay, without even joining the course, we are very happy to help you. Might be some kind of guidance or any kind of query or what what is the right path? What are the way that I'll be preparing? or what are the opportunity I have, any kind of query you have, we'll be very happy to assist you. So this is what our contact, our uh, email is this one, and this is our website, and through various social media platform, you can connect to us in these particular links. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. I'll be very happy to see comments and queries in the comment section of this video. Thank you, students. All the best. We'll meet again in some other video. Thank you.